In this video, I'm going to talk uh, very briefly about the new update to Adobe Captivate 9.0.2. Uh, busy day today for me. I've got a lot of work I got to get done, but I thought I would just quickly record something about the new update because, of course, it, it came out today. I've already gone ahead and updated uh, my version of Adobe Captivate that I use on my production system here. And I just thought I would share some of the differences. This is a pretty minor update. I wouldn't get too uh, bent out of shape over it. There are some improvements over how uh, Adobe Captivate will now publish, especially for uh, courses or projects that are going to be deployed on mobile. Uh, there's a real uh, neat new efficiency that's been added to those. And there's actually a really good article on the Adobe Captivate blog or e-learning blog uh, by Dr. Alan Partridge, who explains that. Another article that explains the other features uh, was written by Dr. Pooja Jaising, and, uh, and you can, of course, check that out there as well. So really, uh, at first glance, it's pretty much the same interface that we've seen since version 8. Um, obviously, in version 9, we, we got the addition of an assets icon and uh, the addition of uh, a community icon is now available in version 9.0.2. Let's first of all, before we get into the community, let's get into the assets uh, icon here. There's been some changes here. You can see the assets uh, screen is, has changed. Uh, first of all, all of the content that you've downloaded from various sources, like for example, I have all these characters that I've used in my e-learning in the past. And most of these came from eLearning Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, you can access those. You also have now a tab for Adobe Stock Assets as well. So if you are someone who subscribes to Adobe Stock, uh, you'll be able to get access to your stock photography from here as well. You'll also be able to continue to get your free eLearning Assets that have been uh, created for you for the uh, from the eLearning Brothers. And that will be available from this third tab here uh, once it updates itself. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's one major difference with uh, 9.0.2. The other major difference um, is the community icon. And when I click on the community, it appears to open another project. But in fact, this is a whole portal that's dedicated to the e-learning community. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, you know, there's the forums, uh, there's the blogs, there's various articles on Adobe's website. And of course, uh, you know, all this content is available. Most of the content that you're gonna see on this uh, portal is available elsewhere. But the real advantage that this uh, introduction brings to you as an end user is that it puts it all in one place for you. So you have access to the forums here, you have access to blog posts, you can actually submit bug or feature requests right from the menu over here, and you can click on various different uh, forum entries that are appearing on the uh, you know on the screen here. And there's a little indicator, of course, this is Q&A, so that's traditionally the forum post that we're all familiar with. The blog entries are, are indicated as such here. And so a lot of information will be available and it's really designed to encourage people to share what they've, what they've done with Adobe Captivate. So you can see things like the opportunity to showcase your work and download sample projects. So it's, uh, it's a really neat tool. And the, the idea that it's built right into Adobe Captivate means that new users to Adobe Captivate don't need to go looking for all of these resources, especially in multiple locations as they once existed. So that's pretty much it, uh, 9.0.2. I recommend that if you're currently on an earlier version of Adobe Captivate 9, that you take the opportunity to update your copy today and make sure you can take advantage of all these new features. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.